And Amelia, um, after I do the reading, I'm not going to say anything like, Amelia, I'm just going to take this off and go over there. Okay? Are we on? Good afternoon, everybody. Well, it's almost afternoon. We're just going to take a second. Um, before we begin to say our noonday prayers. Um, if you have a prayer book, they, uh, the service is on page 103 in the prayer book. You can also go online um, to BCP online and click that. And when it comes up, there'll be a little menu of services on the left. And you would click daily office and then you can find an order of service for Noonday and click that. Thank you, Ashley. I hope you can hear the bell. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We'll say together Psalm 126, which is on page 105. And we'll say this together. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongues with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the water courses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. This is a reading from the Gospel according to John. Jesus said, The hour is coming, indeed it has come, when you will be scattered, each one to his own home, and will leave me alone. Yet I am not alone, for the Father is with me. I have said this to you, that in me you may have peace. Little children, in this world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is a poem by Friar Richard Hendrick, a Franciscan friar living in Ireland. Yes, there is fear. Yes, there is isolation. Yes, there is panic buying. Yes, there is sickness. Yes, there is even death. But they say that in Wuhan, after so many years of noise, you can hear the birds again. They say that after just a few weeks of quiet, the sky is no longer thick with fumes. 
but blue and gray and clear. They say that in the streets of Assisi, people are singing to each other across the empty squares, keeping their windows open so that those who are alone may hear the sounds of family around them. They say that a hotel in the west of Ireland is offering free meals and delivery to the housebound. Today, a young woman I know is busy spreading flyers with her number through the neighborhood so that the elders may have someone to call on. Today, churches, synagogues, mosques, and temples are preparing to welcome and shelter the homeless, the sick, the weary, all over the world People are slowing down and reflecting. All over the world, people are looking at their neighbors in a new way. All over the world, people are waking up to a new reality, to how big we really are, to how little control we really have, to what really matters, to love. So we pray and we remember that, yes, there is fear, but there, does, but there does not have to be hate. Yes, there is isolation, but there does not have to be loneliness. Yes, there is panic buying, but there does not have to be meanness. Yes, there is sickness, but there does not have to be a disease of the soul. Yes, there is even death, but there can also be a rebirth of love. Wake to the choices you make as to how to live now, today. Breathe. Listen. Behind the factory noises of your panic, the birds are singing again. The sky is clearing. Spring is coming. And we are always encompassed by love. Open to the windows, open the windows of your soul. And though you may not be able to touch across the empty square, sing. On this rainy gray day, my heart is heavy. It is heavy because there are so many things out of my control. It is heavy because there are no easy answers to what is ahead. Really, we aren't even sure of what the hard answers are for what is ahead. There is a great amount of unknowing. My cousin wrote me the other day that it feels like we are trading one uncertainty for another as we move through these days. But what Friar Richard Hendricks holds up for us in this poem is what we can be certain of. Love. That same precious love as Julian of Norwich calls it. That love that we are all held so close in. Of this I am certain. A few days ago, I was sitting in my car having a hard conversation. Honestly, it wasn't related to anything about the pandemic. The hard parts of our lives have not suddenly gone on a hiatus during this pandemic. They are still there too, demanding to be seen and dealt with. I was sitting there in the car struggling and a bird came and perched on my rear view mirror. I'm deathly afraid of two things in all of God's creation. Sharks, which is completely rational, even though I rationally will go no further in the ocean than my ankles. And my other fear is birds, which I realize is completely irrational and I have no viable explanation for it. But I was so caught up in my tears that I didn't have time to freak out when there was a bird sitting about 12 inches away from me. I just looked at it. She turned her head at me, and I wiped my eyes to see her better. I have no idea what kind of bird she was, because that would require me to study them, and I won't do it. She looked at me, and then she fixed her feathers, and she flew off. She came back one more time before the conversation was done. Maybe to check on me, or maybe to taunt me, I don't know. I didn't think about that bird again until this morning. I was singing to myself as I got ready. In addition to being irrationally afraid of birds, I like to sing. Except I don't really sing well at all. I want to be able to sing like Aretha, but I can't. But this morning, the song that had popped into my head that I was gleefully singing was, I sing because I'm happy, 
I sing because I'm free. Oh, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. And then I remembered that little bird looking right at me. And I know the one who watches me, and you, and all of this creation. And we are all held in that same precious love. And we will love, and we will sing. We will sing across empty streets and into our phones. We will sing as we open our doors to our Caritas guests this weekend. We will sing when we thank the delivery man and pray for the safety of those truck drivers hauling what is needed across this country. We will sing as we remember the teachers teaching through computer screens. We will sing when we hold close to our hearts all the men and women gearing up in hospitals to treat patients across this world. We will love and sing. Of this, I am certain. We'll continue our prayers the middle of page 106. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our to you. Let us pray. Blessed Savior, at this hour you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms. Grant that all the peoples of the earth may look to you and be saved. For your tender mercy's sake. Amen. I invite your own prayers. Please pray this day in thanksgiving for Paul and Polly Pace, who are celebrating their 42nd wedding anniversary today. Please pray for the work and ministry of Caritas, especially for the guests who we will be welcoming this coming Saturday and for all who served them. We pray as well for all school teachers, for all children and young people, for their families. We remember especially those who will be graduating this year and the losses they are experiencing. We continue to pray for all healthcare workers, we give you thanks for the gifts and skills and hearts of doctors and nurses and CNAs and nursing assistants, for custodians, for those who serve the food in our hospitals. I ask your blessing on them. I thank you for all of those who are working in grocery stores and working late into the night restocking shelves for all of us and the sign that our common life together depends upon one another at every moment. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you this day. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. 
May he bring you home rejoicing once again to your own door. And now may the grace of the Father bless you. May the blessings of Christ care for you. May the care of the Holy Spirit sanctify you today and all the days of your life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. God bless you.